What's the fastest you've ever gone from caring about someone to straight up hating them? In April, I went on my yearly three-day trip with my mom to Las Vegas. In that time, my ex moved out of my apartment. I found out because the landlord called, concerned I was moving. I knew nothing about it. I then called my ex to ask what on earth was going on and she didn't pick up. She left furniture that I'm still trying to get her to take and took stuff of mine that she won't give back. Now I'm stuck in an apartment I can barely afford struggling to survive. I can't move because my rent is cheaper than anything else in my city. It's been tough. Really made me lose all respect for her. My ex was severely depressed and drinking at my place one night. I own a lot of knives and guns because America. I wanted to make my bedroom as safe as possible so I was taking everything pointy, shooty, or ligature-like and giving it to my roommate to keep safe as I would stay with my ex in my room. Bathroom was attached. I handed off stuff to my roommate and heard a commotion in my room. Found my ex on the edge of my bed with a gun that I kept at bedside. It had been the last thing I needed to get past him and didn't think he knew about. He went from pointing it at himself to pointing it at me. I talked him down from that and I told him I wouldn't call the cops if he stayed in the room until sober and called a therapist in the morning. He physically fought me to try and get out but was drunk and tired and eventually laid in bed and cried himself to sleep. I slept by the door until morning. I woke up covered in bruises to a nightmare about him shooting me. I recognized he was sick but also he was capable and willing to kill me. I never saw him the same way again. We no longer speak. There had been a lot of red flags before this point, but I was far too blind and far too lonely to recognize them. Two minutes. He pranked me by making me think he was going to kill himself. Then he got a friend to text me that he did and that it was my fault for not responding sooner. When I was having a full-on panic attack and almost killing myself out of guilt, he told me it was a prank and the two friends asked me if I wanted to have a threesome. I have depression, suicidal thoughts, and yes, he knew that. I was at a party which was very druggy. About halfway through the night, someone dashed into the house and told us that one of the lads at the party had attempted to jump from the roof of one house to another and had messed it up and was lying in a heap on the floor. I've never sobered up so fast in my life. It was like being hit with adrenaline. We ran outside and sure enough, the lad was in a mess completely out of it. One of the lads who had brought a lot of drugs to the party got out of there so quick and was able to pocket a couple of mobile phones and some cash on his way out. Was at my wife's family Christmas gift exchange. My wife is estranged from her direct family, so this was all of the uncles, aunties, and cousins. There were multiple nieces and nephews running around having a good time. We all agreed to a white elephant exchange for the adults so we didn't have to buy a lot of gifts. We did that the night before and did the gifts for the kids there in the morning. Morning rolls around and all the kids are opening gifts, except my son. None of those entitled people got him anything. He sat there and watched everyone else open multiple gifts and it broke my heart to see him sitting there with nothing. Partner of three years broke up with me via text while I was at work. I lost my job by leaving work immediately to go home, a complete wreck, to discover he had given his friends a month's notice so they all helped him move, and I was literally the last one to know. When he left suddenly like this, he had in his account the money I had raised for charity by shaving my head because of my father's terminal illness. Went from upset to level 1000 rage as soon as I realized this. When my best friend of 10 years slept with my boyfriend of two years, I was so crushed but to be honest was more angry with the friend. I truly did believe that I was deeply in love with the boyfriend but he was kind of a jerk to begin with. I saw my friend as a sister and her betrayal left longer lasting impact and hurt way more. I hated her in a violent way for a very long time. Fast forward 11 years and now I am to a point where I have forgiven her and wish her well but would never let her back into my life again. Coworker had a dog who she let run free on her property. Said dog liked to chase cars, so it's only a matter of time and the dog was hit. Dog couldn't walk for two days, was dragging herself around for days after that. We told her to bring her to the vet and she refused because it was too expensive. We pulled together the money and told her, bring your dog to the vet, and she did. The dog's bones in her legs and pelvis were shattered and the dog had no chance of recovering. Coworker finally let the poor thing die peacefully. So anyhow, it was $50 to put this dog to sleep. And since then, every time my coworker spends money on something frivolous and shows us, 
novelty socks, collectibles, an expensive cake, another pet, I think about how she decided bringing comfort to a dying animal wasn't worth paying for. My at-the-time girlfriend had a little sister. She was graduating from college and her college was not close by. It was a few states away and at least a five-hour drive. We both loved the sister, but we weren't going to make it to her graduation. We couldn't afford a hotel for the weekend, and we couldn't take off from work to get there in time. She freaked out on us. It was the biggest tantrum I've seen an adult make. My girlfriend and I both assumed it wasn't that big of a deal, but seeing how much her sister freaked out, we reevaluated the situation. So we packed up quickly and drove through the night to get there. She told us we could sleep in her apartment that night, but that we need to get a hotel the following night. That was fine. We found something online for like $100 a night. We got to her place in record time. It was not even midnight. We felt like heroes for making it up so quickly. We get to her apartment and she won't let us in. She says she's already in bed and we should have gotten there earlier if we wanted to take her up on her offer. So we're both exhausted and we have nowhere to stay. I wanted to just turn around and go back home, but my girlfriend was a better person than me. Luckily, we had other friends in the city and one was nice enough to give us their couches for the night. It's been like 15 years, and I assume the sister was getting one last lay with a college hookup, because I could not imagine any other scenario where she couldn't simply walk down two flights of stairs to open the door for us. I ended up marrying the girlfriend and still bring up the situation anytime she gets in a fight with her sister. It's usually, I can't believe how selfish my sister is being. And I go, you can't? Remember that time we drove to her college grad and she cuts me off? Of course she also remembers it. When I was younger, I found out one of my childhood friends was stealing from me and the friendship group. Ever so often we would lose a phone or iPod, then said friend would have conveniently got the same model but beat it up a bit with his initials and Typex or something stupid. Being a good friend, we didn't want to believe it, but we started putting distinct markings on our items. Lo and behold, my phone goes missing and he turns up with the same one a few weeks later with the markings. We brought him up on it, but he just lost his temper and stormed off. 15 years later, he's in prison for robbery. Talking to my then girlfriend about her cheating on me, explaining I couldn't possibly trust her again, and she replied, but do you really need to trust me? Clearly had different ideas on what's required for a healthy relationship. One summer back in high school years, I had a crush on this girl and we'd hang out when we weren't working together. A friend of mine would keep insisting that I should just ask her out. So I mustered my courage and asked her out. Yeah, it was a glorious fail. I still remember when she smiled and told me the truth. That was when I found out that they had been secretly dating for a year and thought it would be fun just to mess with me. 100 to zero in a few words and a vicious smile. Friend at a bar tells some people we just met how her mother died. Later in the night, I express my sympathy. Now she's without parents. She had told me a few years prior about how her father had passed. Wait, did I tell you back then my dad died? I thought I told you it was my mom. No, both my parents are still alive. When we were in uni, I just read in a book telling people a parent has died is a good way to get sympathy. Ha ha. She was truly a sociopath. I loved still love, playing Pokemon and I had no female friends with the same interest. Found out about this group of guys that played it after school. Got really excited and made plans with them. I waited for hours and they never showed up. Next day I overhear my best childhood friend laughing about how annoying I was and that they had to hide from me to play in peace. That really hurt. One year friendship with this girl. I invited her over to my new apartment. She came over and wanted to gossip about her coworkers. When she paused, I tried to add in a conversation, make a joke, give reassurance, add a comment, etc. But she would immediately raise her voice and start talking over me. I kept getting angrier every time it happened until I was actually hating her internally. She was so self-absorbed that she didn't notice I went from smiling and engaged to frowning while staring off into space. After two plus hours of not being allowed to talk, I made up an excuse to kick her out of the apartment and then vowed to never see her again. My ex-girlfriend. We were childhood sweethearts, dated from 17 to 25. Found out she was cheating on me with her boss, who was more than twice our age. 
then proceeded to find out there were many more occurrences and she was a very different person than the person I'd been dating. My feelings were shattered. My best friend in school got an F from the teacher. Me and him asked if we could go to the toilet. I go to the toilet to text a bit with friends from another school. He goes to the parking lot and scratches the teacher's car. School break and the teacher finds his car. We both get called to the director, etc., etc. Friends said we both scratched the car. I showed the teacher my phone to show him I was texting and couldn't have scratched his car. The teacher believed me, gave my friend detention, and I was let go.